What is NATO? Why is it important? And what's its future? The North Atlantic Treaty Organization is a political and military alliance established in 1949 that seeks to promote stability in the North Atlantic area. It is the will of the people of the world for freedom and for peace. Led by Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg, there are 28 member countries and its HQ is in Brussels. NATO doesn't have its own troops, but relies on contributions of forces from its member countries. At NATO's core is Article 5, which states an attack on one member is an attack on all NATO allies. The collective defence principle was to protect Western European nations against the Soviet Union. But when the Soviet Union collapsed, NATO's new tasks ranged from being a bulwark against Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan to fighting human trafficking and intercepting refugees in the Mediterranean. Donald Trump has called it obsolete, says it has problems. NATO is obsolete. He thinks NATO's original purpose of protecting against the Soviet Union makes it irrelevant that it's ill-equipped to tackle terrorism and that other members don't pay their share towards it. NATO is still extremely active, with some 4,000 US troops in Poland and the Baltic states and tens of thousands on 48-hour standby, bolstering NATO's allies and sending a clear message to Russia. But the organization's future and its principle of collective defense could be jeopardized if Trump pulls the US out. Some of his cabinet picks back NATO, though, like General James Mad Dog Mattis, chosen to head the Pentagon, have categorically declared NATO necessary to the USA. 